I heard about these blueberry muffins. Dude, I can't get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you got so many? <laughs> no, dude, I got four. That's all. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. Um, I heard Grace talking on the on the hot mic before pod started. She goes, "Dude, anybody want whoa, a whoa, muffin?" Whoa. They're like, "What? What flavor?" She goes, "Fucking blueberry." It's all I fucking have. <laughs> Like, oh take God. it or leave it. They're like, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Dude, blueberry muffins are kind of the best. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're listening to this podcast, we know that you like to have a good time. And this whole entire podcast is brought to you by Pirate Water, the drink of the year, the drink of the century. It's a 10% tall boy can uh, malt beverage. It comes in four delicious flavors. We have Margarita Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, and Miami Vice. Personal fave Bahama Mama tastes good. Like I said, it's 10% ABV, and it's a tall boy, and it's under two bucks. Gets you wasted. So if you haven't tried it yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. You can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find Pirate Water in a location near you, or you can order it now on GoPuff. So follow and tag at Pirate Water in your post for a chance to be reposted. We repost you guys every time you tag us, so make sure you show us what you drink on and we will repost your ass let's get into this episode into the show whole entire thing brought to you by pirate water dude welcome back to plan brie on motherfucking cut i am literally okay this cat is gonna ruin this whole episode i gotta do something about it sorry all right maybe you're right maybe, that's ollie maybe, maybe there's too many cats yeah uh-huh <laughs> maybe it's there's like, too many cats it's kind of too many <laughs> it's uh it 13 two, too many <laughs> only two of mine I, I know you always said i would be crazy if i got more than two and I, i'm stuck into my guns i've got two cats okay okay all right yeah that's what you need okay two cats exactly so welcome back to plan break dude i need to tell you <laughs> what i've been through to get to this episode let's get to let's get let's dive right into it dude <laughs> i have so much to t- Hell, you guys. I know. Give me all the goodies, dude. Every time I tried FaceTiming you this weekend, it ain't working. Well, every time I FaceTime you, it, it ain't working, too. I kept saying, I just did magic. Please FaceTime. We kept, we kept trying to talk, and every time I was trying to talk to Grace, she was busy. Every time she was trying to talk to me, I was busy. And then when we finally called, no connection on. No connection No connection on. Dude, fucking shithead. But um, we'll be back. Dude, we'll be back. I'll be back in the city tomorrow morning, bright and early. <laughs> Oh, and dude, I'll be right there at your door with some muffins. <laughs> uh, blueberry with my shit. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'm wicked pumped. Um, but, and we have a new studio coming up. I don't know if we've told anyone. Yeah, we got a new studio uh, dropping next week, for real. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you guys are ready for this shit or not, but we definitely are. Yeah. We got, we, we got, um... Our co-workers who have since moved on, they all passed away. We got to get their studio in Memorial. Mm-hmm. In Memoriam. It's a Memoriam. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually sick. It looks so much better than our last studio. Our last studio looked great. Don't get me yeah. fucking wrong. But that's why we've been all, it, like Grace has been in this room. It's been weird. Yeah, no, no. That, that's the only disconnect there. Yeah, we don't have a studio right now. So, you know, I'm in uh, Oklahoma. Grace is in this random chair. And now we got a new studio dropping. Uh, probably not next week because we're recording on the road. We're going on the fucking road, Grace. Oh, shit, son. We're, we're, we're hitting, going on. We're hitting Chicago. We're road dog in this shit. Oh, man. Road dog life, Dude. man. Are you excited? I'm pumped. I'm stoked. And also, I think people are forgetting. They're getting special casts. At every show. At every show. And they're pretty fucking sick, guys. Dude, the they're first, pretty fucking sick. The first guest for Chicago is so funny. I'm so excited. Um, I'm not saying if, if it's a man or a woman, but they're pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ambiguous. <laughs> big yeah, word. Let's keep it big. <laughs> Dude, have you been doing crossword puzzles since I've been gone? Absolutely. I've been reading the dictionary like I always said I would, too. Oh, my fucking I had, God. Well, after the chalice incident, it's time to learn more. Mm totally is isn't it tell me about your 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 crazy story of how you got here today dude it starts long long ago on friday okay Mm -hmm. that is quite a long time long long ago um oh dude i deleted social media for three days and it was the greatest thing i've ever done in my life that's huge sometimes you just need to fucking do that i know and i know that sounds so stupid like three days but our job is social media so like we're on that bitch all the fucking time checking it Mm -hmm. and fucking just it's like a fucking echo chamber and i was Mm -hmm. getting uh i don't know i was getting a lot in my head on fucking friday i was just like reading a bunch of comments and shit and people dude you know that butt-ass ugly fucking bitch on tiktok 
oh, that stupid cunt. Yeah. Boss. Yeah. She looks like Voldemort. I hate. Hey, I won't mean. say something about her looks, but she's a cunt. I was going to say, I've never said anything about anybody's looks, but she is so ugly from the inside that it pours out of her fucking face. Um, anyways, uh, people were like tagging me. People were stitching her video and defending me for once in my life. I had defenders. I was like, this is beautiful and amazing. But yeah. Uh, dude, I don't know the fact. It wasn't even her videos about me. It was just the fact that there's people on the internet that just fucking spew hate over and over and over. It made me like sad to be a part of the internet. I don't know. I got really in my head and I was like, mm. what the fuck are we doing here? Like, what is going on? Why is and why do people follow her and like like her? And why is there this whole community of public bullies? They're publicly bullying. And, hateful ass bitches if yeah, you will yeah just like so angry and bitter and mad and i don't know I, it just made me like take a step back i was like what the fuck are we doing i have a great amazing weekend planned out right now i'm just i'm not gonna let social media taint it so deleted it for the weekend <laughs> taint i love taint i love taint. all right <laughs> sorry <laughs> all right um but yeah i just i deleted it and it was fucking awesome i just felt like I just let my phone dial weekend because it was like, what are you gonna do on it if you're not? Yeah, uh, if you're not if you're not posting on socials. Yeah, dude, it was sick. You took so. pictures, but you've got your um, you've got your throwaway camera, right? No, not your throwaway, your, your film film camera. Yeah, but I haven't been, I haven't, I haven't been taking any. I've just been doing, uh, just doing the life thing. Pretty sick. I haven't done that. <laughs> I haven't done that. I always have a fucking phone in my hand. But um, yeah, it was awesome. But anyways. We had this weekend lined up where I talked about on the last episode where we airstreamed early to the festival to go to Lumineers, my favorite fucking band in the world. Yes. Okay, so Lumineers did change my life, change, save my life. My favorite <laughs> band in the world. Their music is God. When when I was saying music is God, pretty much because the Lumineers, okay? And Red Hot Chili Peppers, all right? Yeah. So Lumineers are God. They're my number one love everything about them, love everything about the band, everyone in the band. So we go early to watch the show. And obviously, Wes Wesley, who is the like lead singer of the band, and uh, Zach made a song together. Mm -hmm. so they were like talking and stuff. And Wesley like reached out. Wait, like, sorry, pause. Sorry, pause. Wesley, uh, that's how you say his name, right? Wesley? Wesley Schultz, yes. Wesley and Zach made a song together. Was it Wesley and Zach or was it Lumineers and Zach? um lumineers i think okay yeah it was because jeremiah just curious uh, jeremiah who's a fucking legend uh is also on the place keys and shit and like but dude when i hear jeremiah all i want to do is jeremiah jeremiah Jaya, Jaya, Jaya. my sister could do all 19 kids and counting oh i don't know she can that. list out all the names <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy fun fact and an awesome party trick <laughs> that's a fun party to go to it's yeah. good <laughs> um but yeah, so Zach has a song with them, and they sang it this weekend at the festival. So we want we went early to see their set. Their set was Saturday, and Wesley's just like texting Zach, like, "Yeah, anything you guys need? Like, uh, here's my wife's number, Brandy, who's the most amazing lady, dude." Okay, you know <laughs> how it's always never meet your heroes. Yeah, this was like, I don't even know if I want. Like, I've never met people more genuine and kind. That's amazing to hear, huh? Dude, uh, so we, and to witness, yeah, we we met Wesley and his wife Brandy at like the beginning of the day, and we like chatted with them for a little bit, and then we watched the set, and Brandy like got me all the wine I needed. She was taking care of us, like she was like mommy, but she wasn't being like, like, you know, when like sometimes someone sticks around, and you're like, I don't really want, wish you weren't sticking around yeah yeah like she knew the vibe <laughs> she's like i know they just like want to watch the set so i'm gonna make sure they're cool and then we'll chill out after and then after after the lumineer set which dude best set of my life man i need really it. i wish you could uh just love love on it maybe we could go and hug since you hate, <laughs> you hate the couple stuff <laughs> that is tough <laughs> But what, did you did you take a look around and did you say, oh my god, look at all those couples out there? Well, this was a festival, so it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh yeah, it wasn't it, their main mission. It wasn't was to beat couple couples fest. at Lumineers. Yeah, like the last one we went to. Yeah. Wait, the festival wasn't called Couple Fest. It was called Pilgrimage, which seems a little culty. 
Yes. I don't know. We watched Midsummer and they said <laughs> pilgrimage in it. And I'm like, I'm kind of scared to go to this festival this weekend. But it was the best festival ever. Epic. Yeah. Rock and roll. Where the heck was it? Um, Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. Or Franklin, Tennessee, which is a okay. beautiful small town that I would love to live in. There's a there's all these houses are gorgeous, Grace. You would love it. It's the cutest little town in the world. Really now? Yeah. It was beautiful and gorgeous. I really liked it, enjoyed it. It was beautiful. Anyways, we saw the set, cried my little eyes out. We had the best night of our fucking lives. We danced like <laughs> maniacs. We didn't care. We were w- wasted. Okay. We got fucked up. Like, <laughs> baby, baby was drinking wine. <laughs> yeah. I think I had about four bottles that day. So um, <laughs> we got absolutely, because we're like, it's vacation. Like, we just wanted to go early, have fun. So we were, we were wasted. All right. But, mm-hmm. anyways, after the set, we go back to like our campsite and Wesley and Brandy come and hang out with us and it's just me zach wesley and brandy for like hours just talking and dude they are the kindest sweetest like most deserving people of everything and you know how we all meet people where it's like ah ah how'd you get so lucky because you are not a good person and you don't feel like you deserve all this greatness happening to you like just an amazing couple and i I don't have better things to say like so normal Oh, dude, you've lived, you literally live in your dream there. I know. I was, it, it was just, they were just normal people, which was so crazy. Cause like they go play that set where they're just like changing people's lives and like people are yeah. sobbing and like people <laughs> are like, you fucking literally stopped me from killing myself. And then they're just like the most casual, chill, nicest motherfuckers <laughs> in the world. Crazy. That's awesome. And that's awesome that they wanted to like stay and chill. Yeah. After theirs, like after his set, he came and like chilled with us, like just normal fucking people and great like smart kind uh, i don't have enough good things to say <laughs> truly well it, it has changed the whole outlook on don't meet your heroes you can you can actually meet your heroes and sometimes they're going to be exactly what you hope for exactly. or better or better man like you would think <laughs> or better you think like in some sense that they could be pretentious or like assholes because they have every right to be with the, who they mm-hmm. fucking are but their story is is so cool because they they've been like 10 years and now they're headlining festivals. Like it's been like a slow burn and it, they like really put the fucking work in and I don't yeah. know, it's just sick to see them getting the recognition. I, like, I feel like they already have, but that they deserve like just fucking crazy. And anyway, it's just like the sweetest people ever. And we, we hung out with them again yesterday and just amazing dude. And like <laughs> Zach brought out fucking Noah Kahan and Warren Treaty. It was just like this most beautiful, magical set in the whole entire world. Oh, that's awesome. So he did he did well. He did good as well. Uh yeah, absolutely smashed it. And dude, smashed okay, so it. We got epically wasted that night, the Saturday night, and then we woke up and we're like, oh my God. We were simultan- simultaneously throwing up in the airstream. He was throwing up in the Ooh. sink. I was throwing up in the toilet. Hey it, guys, it's an airstream. Just walk outside. <laughs> dude, it was it was tough. It's it gross. Was, oh, smell. It me. was tough. <laughs> Gee, it was bad. Was that's tea. tough man and, and he was like oh my god i'm gonna have to cancel my show B. oh he's playing the next day that morning all hung over and shit i was like zb you can't man we gotta get through this man we gotta get, and then i was like we gotta get snow cones i i wake up at 7 a.m i'm like blacked out so i i, was, I don't know if i was dreaming about we gotta, get, we gotta get snow cones <laughs> Dude, i literally woke up and i go god i got snow cones and we start projectile vomiting and then there was magically a snow cone stand at the fucking festival. Snow cone fucking ruled, man. Dude, it had to be in the back of your head. You must have saw it the day before. I'm like, dude, dude mental note, snow cone in the morning. No, Hammond. dude, we weren't at the festival yet. Like, we weren't. Dude. It, dude, it was just epic. <laughs> <laughs> so snow cone changed my goddamn fucking life. And had the best night ever. But, okay, so I had to make it back here for the pod, obviously. And we drove to tennessee from nashville i mean we mm. that's an idiot so oklahoma yeah we so. drove yeah and it's nine hours so after his set last night literally we packed up the airstream like hung out with everyone said our goodbyes and drove at 11 p.m to here we got here we drove all night we got here at like 9 a.m on the road again so i haven't slept yet and i'm just like <laughs> let's fucking go oh let's. you're a loopy doopy huh i'm a little loopy doopy bitch man i can't <laughs> even believe it and also grace there's no fucking drug like a puppy man i didn't know i could love something <laughs> so much it's crazy <laughs> and she's coming to the city she's coming to the city i want to be a city dog because she's my dog people be forgetting <laughs> 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, Boston. <laughs> Rihanna's bitch. <laughs> Dude, everyone's tagging me in your post with Boston saying, dude, yeah. <laughs> no. they're saying, dude, do you see this shit? Your best friend. I'm like, I'm not jealous of a dog. Really? Dude, you are going <laughs> to eat this dog up, man. Jesus. It's a fucking adorable dog. You're going to fucking love this dog so much. I can't believe I'm going to take it for a walk. I, yeah, I'm going to take it for a walk. I'm going to have personal time yeah, have with personal the dog. Time with her, get to know her. Wait, what the heck? I'm so confused logistically. <laughs> You're having the whole petting zoo migrate to your uh, apartment in New York City. And then guess what? We're going to go to Chicago the next day. What's going on? No, 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 Who's no, no. watching the dog? No, 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 no. And all the cats I'll and tell, the I'll dogs. Tell and... The lo- I'll tell everyone the logistics right now. Yeah, I'm just curious for my own personal sake. I, for your personal sake, the logistics. You bring it all 19 and counting? That Jeremiah, Jedediah, James, Jesse, Joey. Hey. Hey, shut fucking... up. Hey, shut up for a second. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, I fly tomorrow morning. And he's going to bring the whole farm on Thursday. Okay. And then we get back from Chicago Friday. All right. So he's having personal alone time with the zoo. He's the zookeeper. for. I have no idea how the <laughs> zookeeper is going to do this. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. And I'm just There's gonna so leave. many animals. I'm just going to, dude, do you know how confused my doormen are going to be? I'm going to say, here's a key. I'm leaving this for some, <laughs> some hillbilly. <laughs> And then the hillbillies <laughs> gonna come in with all these crates and baskets of kittens and dogs. It's, 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 it'll be come. raining cats and dogs quite literally. Dude, it's gonna be so funny when the hillbilly rolls up with, <laughs> with the zoo and it's just like, hey, you got a key? They're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, hey, my door's always open if they won't let them in, the right. hillbilly. <laughs> so yeah, we get we get back and it's a hillbilly farm and we get to hang out with some puppies, dude. And that's so. I got good news for us, too. Yes. <laughs> I um, was going to say that. I'm just thinking about how many fucking animals there is. And that's some people's dream. But for me, one or two is good. And uh, hey, the rest listen. in a small apartment to me is like uh, too much. <laughs> hey, listen. To Stressing each their own, me out. To each their own. I'm pretty fucking stressed hey, to each about their own. it, too. I'm pretty fucking stressed <laughs> about it, too. All right. Listen, two cats, two dogs. Two, that's all right. Four cats is a lot. That's a too many. They're too, That's a too, they're too many. tiny, though. They're tiny like you and me. I'm just a little baby girl. No, we're, ti- <laughs> like, we're tiny little babies. They're just like us. I hate tiny people. Uh, all right. Be careful with your words. Um, I don't care. <laughs> you know, little, little, sh- little short fucking boys with, with fucking God complexes. <laughs> <laughs> who do you have in mind? A lot of men who just... <laughs> <laughs> I can actually picture it. I'm picturing some exact person from high school right now. Me too. Mm-hmm. I'm the same mad. Time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fuck that, man. Just be happy. It's just get a puppy. Yeah. Just get a puppy. It's just one. <laughs> I'll just only have one puppy, dude. It's not that as crazy as it fucking seems. So anyways, having not rolled my ass in. Here today to party. Ready to come back tomorrow. Ready to go to Chicago. You had a hell of a fucking weekend, too. Your mom was there. You went to the One Bite Rules the World Festival. I want to hear about this shit. I want you to fill me in. And then I want to get into some subjects. All right. Let me proceed. <laughs> So my mom came. Mm-hmm. So I realized my mom is the best replacement for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she filled in perfectly. This weekend, usually. Oh, wait, let, me, me, let my... me read this text that I got from Grace. <laughs> when my phone was dead, I wake up to this. I was like, that's pretty epic text, honestly. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I, I read it the next day. I was like, that's hilarious. It's I was on a little hilarious. tiny bit of shrimps. Hey, just text him to say you win. It's not a contest by any means, but it's truly no fun to do anything without you. So there for you deserve some recognition also bleep bad guy you are always right (laughs) (laughs) i was like dude that was nice (laughs) yeah you fucking win i was all pissed off but i was like yeah you you win (laughs) but still need (laughs) (laughs) you fucking coming back also people are all mad that i'm not fucking in new york with you it's like dude I was going to kill myself, so uh, let me be happy for, like, a couple weeks, and then uh, we'll get back to regular scheduled programming, all right? Yeah, I know. But people hated last week's episode. I know, but it was so funny and good. I thought it was hilarious. It was, like, one of our best episodes in a while. The people, the people, um, the, they think there's animosity or something. We just haven't, like, you're just, like, off the grid. Like, that's, that's all it is. And And also, everyone's, like... Dude, it's not fair. Grace is the only one putting in work. I'm like, dude, Grace shows up to the studio and records. 
I set up my camera and record, it's the same exact fucking thing. Yeah, people, just people don't like when it's um, Zoom, which Zoom. I totally understand. It takes it takes take yeah. some shit away from it but yeah. um i was i was also sick as a dog last week yeah you were not so anytime well. i'm looking like this they're like oh she's pissed we recorded or super, she's super, gonna super, cry uh, yeah everyone always thinks you're gonna fucking cry i'm not a cry baby i'm just sick as a dog <laughs> sick as a thousand dogs in one apartment <laughs> <laughs> dude she's so sick as a thousand dogs in that hillbilly apartment <laughs> Oh, God is good. All right. So keep it, keep me in touch with this weekend. Let me fucking hear it. All right. So, um, you on BFFs, mother, your mother, your mother's the best replacement. Yeah. Yeah. So on BFFs, uh, like a few weeks ago, Dave was talking about Pizza Fest and I just so happened to be on BFFs that week. And you said, my mom would love tickets. And I said, yeah, while you're at it, uh, my mom would definitely love tickets too, Dave. And he was like, okay, relax. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I got a text from Austin. Austin said, does your mom really want tickets? And I said, mm, absolutely. So she came for the day. She came to New York City for the day. It was all the way in Coney Island. On Saturday? On Saturday. And it, unfortunately for Dee, it was, it was pouring rain. Oh, it was geez. pouring rain. And it would have been so epic uh. of a festival if it wasn't raining. Because think of this. Yeah. All the best pizza, right? Yeah. Live music. Yeah. Drinks galore. Yeah. You're sitting on a picnic bench. You're like, oh, I'm hungry. I'll get another slice for free. Oh, shit. It was all the pizza for free. All the pizza for free. Dude, that's so, a stoner's wet dream. Dude, I know. So it was like, it was a lot of fun. It just stunk a little bit that it was raining. Was Were there a lot of people there? Were people loving it still? There was a lot of people there. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Um, so Coney Island is a real place. Coney Island's real. I've never It's not this been made there. up fib that anyone like. I thought it was a fib. Did you? I thought people were making yeah, this shit thought, up I about Coney were Island when they were talking about this place. Did you? But I didn't get a. Did you take a train? I mean, How'd you get there? Well, so the plan was to take a train, and I, I, I said, ah, ah shit, too let's hot. Take too a many car. cats and dogs. And you know, it's the, it, my mother's in town. I got a tweeter, right? You know, we'll, we'll hop in a car. Right. So we got hopped in a car, right. and it took uh, it took a little bit to get there. All right. Would have took a lot longer on a train. All right. All right. And we get there. It's uh, fantastic. Pieces are flying. Everyone's having a great time. Uh, my mom couldn't believe the overwhelming love and support I was getting out there. <laughs> it was it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. Was, somebody tweeted at me. And they may have said that I had more people coming to me than Dave. And uh, I don't know. That would be right. <laughs> Uh, I've got a big dick. <laughs> um, did you uh, did you hug Dave at all? Um, no. So oh. this is so my mom at the end of the festival. We were well. <laughs> I went up till uh, Savannah so came up to me and she's like, "Dude, what what are we doing after this?" I'm like, "I don't know. Let's figure something out." And I, everyone that we like work with was kind. We were kind of all following Silvana like like a groupies, and because we were all trying to figure out like what to do next, and I caught myself like following Silvana to. To find Dave. And I'm like, I feel like a groupie. I'm going to step aside. And so I, me and my mom stepped aside for a second. And right right as Dave was leaving, he turned around. He goes, Mrs. O'Malley. And she was like, oh, me? She, <laughs> she must have lost it. She she literally, she called it her um, Adrian moment from Rocky. Like, Adrian! Dude. She was like, <gasps> Rocky? <laughs> I texted Grace to her because I knew that she was there and I was like, how hard is your mother eating the shit out of this festival? Dude, she was eating it up. That, Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is her drug. That, she doesn't need drugs. She needs one bite pizza festival. That's like <laughs> literally, she's, and she said, we, we had a, first, we had like a whole night after that, but she said, even before we had the rest of that night, this is pretty much the best day ever. <laughs> Dude, one bite pizza was the best day ever for her but dave that. stopped and talked to her for like 30 maybe 40 minutes and she was like yeah what were they talking about i, I don't know it was um adult she was talk. trying to it was adult talk yeah i actually couldn't understand any of it which is why i went home and i read a dictionary oh good <laughs> was, they were talking a lot of business jargon <laughs> <laughs> no no way no i'm kidding oh my god but, i'm like what? but no he stopped and talked to her for like 10 to 15 minutes, but it really was like a long time. And yeah. she was so grateful for it. She kept talking about her 
her jean jacket that she made for uh, the the award show, which uh-huh. she never got recognition for, and we'll toss it up in here. But um, he had no idea what she was talking about. Oh. <laughs> and he just kept saying, "No, yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry." Yeah. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> I liked it. Nancy. It was. It was. It was hilarious. But uh, yeah, that made her day. And then we all went out. Um, we all went out. And everyone was like coming from the festival to this bar we were at and we switched bars and we switched bars and we got there before Silvana could get to to the bar we told her to. So she went to the bar we told her to. We're at another bar. Oh, and so you guys I'm, I'm like, oh, bullies. Yeah, no, but it, it, it just the you way it works. So you know, when you you know, when you leave a bar fast and you forget to tell the rest of the of people, that, it look it look it looked bad. Looks so you know like what you I set did? Her up. Yeah. You know what I did? What you fucking do? I got my ass in an Uber, went back to that other bar, as you should, picked her up, as you and should. brought her to the next one. Yeah. And then that's what a we get to the one that everyone's does. at. We get to the one that everyone's at, and they had left and went to the bar I just came from. So everyone's ridiculous. <laughs> well, everyone's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> that is an accurate fact. It's <laughs> an accurate fact. <laughs> all right. But um, so then we're all at uh, we're all at this bar, and my mom. I'm I'm starting to lose her. I'm noticing like she's going in and out, and I'm like, hey, "You good? Because we're gonna go to a rave. You ever been to a rave?" And she's like, "I got it, dude." Nancy and Grace have this in common. I can always <laughs> tell when I'm about to lose one of them. I'm like, "You still in there? You blinking? You breathing? Come on, guys, come on." He's going in and out, out. And, they're, and they're like, "Yeah, no." Good. <laughs> I, <got it. laughs> I was like, dude, I couldn't have, I couldn't catch a buzz if I wanted to. And my mom's going in and out. And then all of a sudden I'm talking to, I think I'm, I think I'm talking to the boss man. And I turned oh, boss around. boss man came out with you guys? Secondary boss man, Gaz. Okay. Boss in charge. And then, yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm t- I turn and my mom is on uh, the couch dancing to like run DMC like it's tricky <laughs> and she was so bumming because two <laughs> two friggin security guards bum rushed her and was like get it down with flashlights and everything she was embarrassed because she thought it, they were all sing, singling her out I'm like no ma if anyone if <laughs> Silvana got up there they'd be upset yeah you can't stand on the couch you can't stand she, on the and couch. then and then I lost her. In that moment, I lost her. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you got to be kidding me. We're about to leave for John Summit right Wait, now. Did you bring your mom to John Summit? That was the plan. Okay. And then the what, plan you lost was her. to bring her to John Summit. And then she got in trouble for the couch and she fully, she fully got, she got lost in the sauce. So uh, she, I go up to my mom. I'm like, all right, we're going to John Summit. You ready? Like, yeah. we're going to go to a club. It's going to be crazy. Let's go. Ah. And she goes, not going. <laughs> going to bed. I'm exhausted. Give me keys. I'm like, I'm not giving you my keys. So I brought her home. Yeah. And then I met everyone out at the club. The guys at the door being a bunch of dicks. Was it at Marquee? Yes. They're always fucking dicks there, bro. That place sucks ass. Honestly, never had a good experience there. Yeah, unless they want to pay me to like do a show or something or like have a table, bring a bunch of hot chicks in. Yeah, I could do I'm that. I'm not going back. Yeah. I'm not going back. Dude, okay, why? What was it? What was the problems? Well, at the door, like whatever, like they weren't letting me in, but I and I just felt so creepy because I was alone. That's the I'm worst. alone by myself, and I'm like, and you can't really like argue when you're alone because then you just look crazy. And I also like wouldn't argue. I just I just kind of wanted to. I'm like, for a matter of fact, I know my first and last is on that piece of paper. Stop well, acting like saying. it isn't. It's not even an argument. It's just like I'm on the list. Can you please let me in? My buddies are in there. My buddies are in there. I'm out here. He's been going for a half an hour. I just want to see John Boy. Dude, I just want to see Summy Dummy go dummy with the tracks on his fucking bum on his dummies. Dude, that's Dude, it. Uh, Summy goes dummy with his dummies. He should do, bro. Put wow. that on a fucking t-shirt. Summy goes dummy with his dummy dummies. With his dummies. Wow. Dude. Okay. Pay me, Summy, or I'm gonna go dummy, dummy with my dummies. Trigger finger, <laughs> Twitter, bitch. Okay. <laughs> so- <laughs> But yeah, Marquis never let, dude, every time we go, they're like, you guys aren't, they aren't. And then someone has to come out and get us and be like, they are. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. It was just an ay ay ay. So, but it was sick to be there and see Johnny Boy. So did, and did he go dummy with his dummies? How was it? He was never going dummy. Him. We always both wanted to see him. Well, we saw him that one time when John Summit was Brooklyn. I did? Yeah, we remember I ran behind the LED screen and almost ruined the whole concert. Oh my God, we were fucking tripping balls though. 
we were on ecstasy. Dude, I, I threw up That's when lot. I realized the difference of ecstasy and Molly. It's two very different things. And if anyone says it isn't, it is. Well, that's when I said, listen, I'm going to stick to drink it for a while. <laughs> yeah, I, I crushed a water bottle. Oh, dude, we got to find that picture. Dude, Grace. Cr- okay. We that's went, the funniest we, picture we ever. Went to this, we went to this fucking concert in Brooklyn, and it was at this huge warehouse. Like, there had to have been 10,000 Man, that's that's a lot maybe like five thousand people in it though it was huge yeah. it was huge, fucking huge and we went on stage there was like this huge led screen like in front of the wall and there was like this yeah. this much room behind it and grace <laughs> fucking we're like about to leave and we're like are right, we gonna go upstairs and i think grace thought we were going that way, but we were taking a right. We were taking a Roger. Grace was banging a fucking lefty, okay? So <laughs> yeah. I'm like, we're Roger and Grace is like, I'm going to go see Lenny. And I go down the <laughs> stairs. I turn around. Grace is behind the massive LED screen at one of it's the biggest wobbling. EDM shows that <laughs> is to exist. John Summit's like peeking at his set right now. Grace is peeking <laughs> on ecstasy, running behind the fucking thing. And we're like, we're, we're long, long gone. We thought she was behind us. We look back. We see Grace. She's like, dude, I'm I never, lost in the sauce. I've never seen someone move the way she was moving. She was <laughs> moving and grooving in a, in a terrified way. Like she was coming out of a haunted mansion and alone and she was, was actually so getting murdered horrified. dude she was horrified you could see horror in her eyes from the balcony at the fucking show and well, that was just running. where pupils dilated <laughs> dude she was so scared though and she almost knocked she almost ruined the whole set she like tripped on a wire in her air mm-hmm. force ones and fucking almost i think they were clean new i think they were new clean ones too I I brought out the fresh pairs for Jay. Yeah, you did. Jay, get the fresh Jays. Come on, what you doing? Dude, there's a there's a subtle flex in this story. We were on stage with John Summit. Yeah, shit. Before he was cool, <laughs> and you almost ruined his set. So then that's why they weren't letting me in my key. Yeah, they knew they had you your face <laughs> they, on a list. Yeah, they said wall. LEDG. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> LEDG. Grace, you're bad. And then she she runs up to the balcony and she's having this water bottle in her hand. I'll, I've got to find a picture. But she was I gotta crushing it like she was killing something, a big spider in her hand. She had to kill it to survive. <sighs> that uh, that water bottle was Al Qaeda. <laughs> You know what? And I day destroyed was, ISIS. <laughs> you always have been destroying ISIS. But that day was, we were on tour. We were on Sleep When You're Dead tour. We got off a plane from Alabama tour. We oh, yeah. literally landed at like 5 p.m. We went home, changed. We were out of it. We hadn't slept. We hadn't slept in three days. And then we went straight to fucking John Summit, did ecstasy. That's when we were out of our fucking mind. Out of control. Out of control. I couldn't even think. I couldn't even imagine being so out of control anymore. I feel like grown up. I know it. It happened. It happened um, against my will. Honestly, I did it fully on my own, bearing wills, and I feel better about life, man. I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I still. Like, I still got. I still got dirty days left in me. I. I, I love like, it. I eat it up. I it's like awesome. To drink, but I don't like to be that anymore. I don't like to be a um crackhead like a dirty um club whore i mean that's I what like, it was i don't fucking like clubbing yeah no i really don't we, either but we never have we've always we never have it's just like something to do it was just where every all of our friends would go in the city and we would always every night before going to a club me and you would be like we could go to a bar we could go oh my god no we'd all say to the, we'd be like to the boys we'd be like you guys like interested in like maybe trying a bar tonight? We could go to any bar. There's so any many bars bar. in the Dude, city. We go to so bar. many bars. And they're like, and they were like, promoters. no, we get paid to go to this fucking. Yeah. We've got thing. 13 hot fucking bitches coming, rolling to the table. I gotta go to the club. <laughs> and then we would... that was so many women to meet at that time. We met so many women every weekend. Dude, I know tens we... of thousands of women coming into their apartment. We're all shaking hands and kissing babies. I know. And we were <laughs> dude, that's why I think we were so out of control because we never wanted to go to these clubs. So to enjoy them we would have to get belligerent. Yeah. And then it was just like a cycle of getting belligerent to try to enjoy these clubs and just being belligerent for days on end, on end, on end, when all we wanted to do, dude, it was so sad when you look back at it. All we wanted I to know. do was go to a bar and hang out with our friends and talk. <laughs> that's, what was, we, that's all we kept saying. Like, dude, if we go to a bar, we get to know each other. They're like, ah, fuck that. <laughs> dude, <laughs> and how many days did we spend trying to convince our friends to hang out in the daylight? 
Oh, yeah, that was tough. How sad is that? That was tough. How fucking <laughs> sad is that? Yeah, that made that hurt my soul. <laughs> like, dude, we were like crushed by it. We're like, come on, can we like grab dinner or something? I still got, I still, I still got that one. There's, there's one, there's one good guy that's still my buddy. Yeah, and forever all and always will be. I had, I had steak dinner with him the other night. I know he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He likes to hang out in the day. Yes. But there was yeah. a lot of people that never wanted to see us if it wasn't under the disco <laughs> lights in the fucking club, man. Hey, listen, we weren't looking too hot at the time. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> I was not either. I had purple hair down to my ass and I couldn't breathe. I couldn't look in the mirror and be happy with myself. I that was tough. <laughs> that, dude, that whole time we never we wouldn't we would get ready. We wouldn't look at ourselves when we got ready. I would look at what I'm doing while I put my makeup on, but never my self i wouldn't every reflection i caught mm, mm, mm. that's a troubling troubling time those girls needed fucking help yeah. sick twisted help sick twisted help i well i got um i got uh, a rug in for my bathroom it's an eight ball it's sick and my mom's like oh i like your i like your rug i'm like yeah it's an homage to my drug addiction in the past she goes what <laughs> I'm like, yeah, why did I say that to you? Yeah, She's I like, you're know. not doing that anymore, right? I'm like, no, and I'm better for it. Dude, you're so much better for it. I'm so proud of you. Dude, I, I was addicted to cocaine. I thought. I really was. I know, and I thought, dude, <laughs> I've lost my best pal. And I rode you. I rode with it every time, every chance I got. I tried to make you feel shitty for being addicted to cocaine. but uh, Which is so fair. <laughs> dude, I was like, ah. That's when I would lose you, man. I'd be like, oh, yeah. there she goes. Um. All right, G, I'm going to fucking head out because I'm not pounding lines and, and I, I can't stay up until 9 a.m. because I'm fucking tired, man. And I'd be like, dude, where are you going? She'd be so <laughs> mad at me. She'd be like, okay, I would like, I would try to stay up, dude. I would, I would be like, we can do this. Like, I don't, I don't need it. I'll drink 14 vodka Red Bulls. Like, I got this, man. And it'd be like 4 a.m. I'm like, fucking falling asleep. 4.30 rolls around. I'm like, gee, I'm, I'm going to head home. Yeah. 4.30. I'm like, the sun hasn't even came out yet. She's like, <laughs> Dude, are you fu- are you she'd be so mad so mad are you fucking serious down. you're leaving like are you serious dude I'm like what i'm like yeah. yeah and then i'd be like please. i'll stay for another 40 minutes and then fucking i'm just sitting on the couch i look like i'm on heroin when these everyone's uppers i'm just like falling asleep on the couch. it was sad time man and i tried and i tried and then that's what made me go crazy so i basically i basically had a drug problem because she did because i was trying to ride the drug problem without doing the drugs so i was just sleep deprivation dying slowly killing myself watching her be a maniac and then did we get we got out of it oh a kitty just... we got out of it look at this kitty. Oh, one of the thousand kitty cats this oh what's up so... he's so cute i don't know if i trust that guy no you would he's a man him okay and, him and all like best him. friends don't trust him ollie could be a bad guy are you gonna take that back no i know what he did in the past what are you talking about he was raping his sister all right grace listen cats have. Oh, what? You don't want the public to know your cat's a rapist? Okay, listen, he's not <laughs> a rapist. Incestually? <laughs> he's not a rapist. He he didn't get neutered yet, okay? Ah, uh, okay, so he was just horny. He was, he was, his hormones were all over the place. Can't blame the guy. <laughs> Mango was, <laughs> Mango what was, was she wearing? Ma- <laughs> Mango was looking real good, and she was kind of into it, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, so she, listen. That's her fault. Dude, you just got dude, it. I stand with all women for real. I'm trying to turn a leaf. Yeah, dude, seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> Truly seems like it. But no, uh, yeah, th- this cat you can trust. I swear, you'll see him soon. If you if you Word. if you dare to see so many cats in one small tiny place, uh, I'll I'll meet them one on one like a jail visit. All right, I'll bring them to you. Yeah, just bring you toss one in, and I'll have a word with it, right. <laughs> and then you bring the next one in. All right, cool. Yeah, so glad we're out of that phase, man. But we're still, yeah, huge. We're, we're still having fun. I still have a, lots of fun. Lots of fun. Just- oh, oh. Speaking of which, so I I just do shrooms now. So I took a little nibble of shrooms at John Summit, yeah. which was silly, and because I didn't realize everyone was just gonna leave when I got there. Uh. So I I was with uh, a hilarious work pal and his his friend, and um, it was just us three, and I was I took a little bit of shrooms and. Just watching Johnny Sum on stage, I was sitting there just going, <laughs> he, was, he was cracking me up. 
Dude, was just so funny to watch. Someone screenshotted. I someone people have been screenshotting things and like keeping me updated in my DMs since I wasn't on <laughs> social media. And someone oh, screen- good guys. Someone screenshotted your story. And I was like, dude, I wonder if John someone thinks she's an asshole because you wrote and I know you just mean it in a funny, silly way. I know it but didn't you go. Cu- it didn't hit like that. Grace videoed fucking John <laughs> Summit zoomed in and goes, look at this fucking goofball just being a goofball. Or something. No, I wrote, ah, oh, look at this silly goofball. Look at this fucking but like, silly in goofball. In my heart, I was like, that's a silly goofball up there, man. He's so I knew silly. exactly what you meant, but it didn't read like that, man. Dude, we don't play well with DJs. I mean, everything gets misconstrued. I know, they man. They hate us, man. We're going to get our front again tickets revoked. I know, dude. I'm so excited for that, though. I'm so excited for that. But, oh, okay, so I was on I was on the shrooms. So I'm just going to finish this one out. I'm on the shrooms. I go home. And I'm like, fuck, when I get home, I have to crawl into bed, my bed with my mother <laughs> and I'm tripping balls. So I, I, uh, I heated up some chicken tikka oh. and, uh, dude, it's so good. And when I was microwaving it, I'm just sitting there and I had, I had a thought pop up. I was like, dude, if my dad tried, I, I wrote it, I wrote it on my, on my fridge. I've got like a dry erase moment going on on my fridge now. I like that. And I wrote this. I wrote this. Um, joke. The best way to end racism in white men is blind, blind taste test them good foods. They'll warm up. That's what I wrote. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going somewhere else. I thought you were going to say give them shrooms. Oh, that too. But okay, give them food. So, all right. So like um, uh, everyone's got like a like an uncle who's not so kind to people who aren't. Um. <laughs> People. I've got an uncle. I've got an uncle. I've got uncles that are not, uh, that they're racist. Yeah. And I think if you blindfolded them, yeah. presented them uh, a culturally different food. Yeah. Well, this is my shrooms talking, but if, if you blindfold them, you present them with a culturally different food and you have them eat it and they enjoy it so much. And then you say, my, my friend that was made by blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. My might change everything. The more I say it out loud, it really only made sense in, on shrooms. And I was, I, I, again, from my heart, I really like meant that in the sweetest way possible. But th- saying it out loud is kind of awful. So <laughs> that's yeah. I'm just out here trying to make peace with the world. <laughs> I'm a fucking hippie, <laughs> dude. Yeah, no, man. Just at least you said it with your chest. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, um. It's, Speaking of uh, sticking to your own kind, um, I was with some Irish fellas last night. Okay, yeah, dude, they were they were out of control, hilariously party animals. Yeah, I heard you was flirting with some Irish men this weekend. Yeah, I was, I was, um, and they were flirting with my mother as well, okay. and my mom was getting terrified. <laughs> she was like, she was like. I am her mother. If you were going to use me to get to her, that is ridiculous. And I was like, Ma, be cool, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and, but she ended up um, dancing on the bar. She couldn't stop her elevated s- surfaces this, this whole weekend. She was dancing on the bar with this Irish fella. And then all of a sudden, this little this Irish fella, he fell off the bar directly onto his head and was bleeding from the scalp. <laughs> Dude, it was crazy. And then all of a sudden, like this crazy guy from the like who didn't know them comes over. He goes, I'm calling an ambulance. And he was like so mad about it. And they were all like, no, no, don't, don't. And so I think there's some visas that might be expired going on or something. Kids like this. And I'm like, the hospital wouldn't be too bad. I, I was it was a bar near my house. So I was like, if you guys want, like you can like regroup at my house because the bar's closing now. It's it's become a problem. <laughs> and they were like, no, 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 no. I think they thought I was doing something weird. <laughs> and so I was like, hey, listen, I just wanted to help. And I was like, Ma, let's get out of here. Was the kid okay? <laughs> he was um by the time I walked away, he was doing thumbs up and stuff. So right. <laughs> he had his uh he had his mobility. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> That's good. That's yeah, no, good. it was crazy. <laughs> Dude. Oh, it was nuts. So you and your mother didn't get laid by no Irishman? <sighs> Not yet. Missed opportunity. Dude, you found out your crush has a fucking girlfriend. Ugh. I know. 
Don't even want it. I was like, Brianna, I was like, Brianna, could you text our friend who knows this friend who could ask him if his, if our he friend, could put a our good... Our friend was with Grace's crush. And she said, can you just <laughs> text him and tell him to put in a good word for me? I said, yeah, so fuck movie. So I texted him, said, can you put in a good word for my best friend? And he said, he has a fucking girl. Did. And I said, whoever told me and got my hopes up that he well, maybe he has had a new broken one. up with this girl. Well, that was fast. No, well, sorry. It, hey, you know, <laughs> love is love. <laughs> well, I love him and it's not fair. <laughs> well, maybe then you could be the next fast uh, fastball. I need to stop crushing. I crush too hard. I crush, you crush too so hard. hard. It's beautiful. I crush hard too. We're just <laughs> lovers. Uh, we just want to find true love romance. <laughs> And I think that's beautiful. Everyone thinks we're such evil, heartless, but we just love crushes. I crush. And I no, crush. <laughs> no, you crush. Oh, I can't stop doing this. I hang loose. Ah, dude, it's so funny when someone just like you. You're having a conversation. You don't want to. You don't want to be in it anymore. You just go. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking disrespectful. <laughs> It's just like ah shit, I don't really want to fuck. Ah. Like, dude, my grandma's my grandma's getting really sick. Ah, fuck off! Ah, I don't really. Ah. You gotta, ah, ah. You, gotta ah. like, you gotta roll your eyes in the back. Yeah, it's gotta be oh, weird God. enough for them to walk away. Ah. Ah. Oh, gross. Ah. That's epic, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna start hitting bitches with that. Come on now. <laughs> uh, but or or you can start to do uh, this is I think this is what I do when okay. I don't like the conversation I just start going like this. Ooh, that's like cool. I'm picturing me like that. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> I think yeah. I would gravitate towards that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm pulling mad beautiful bitches. Oh, <laughs> hilarious. Okay, hit it, me. I thought that I put in my notes. It is impossible to come out to your mother when she's already listening to your day your weekly diary. <laughs> oh yes. I was last night. I like casually said, "She's like, why have you never like had a boyfriend or something like that?" And I was like, "I don't, I don't know." Or some, and I said something like, "Yeah, like, well, I'm like, bye, so like, whatever." You know what she said? What? Keep your options open. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, "All right, I will." I'm like, that's like not like what I'm doing <laughs> when I say that. <laughs> She's like, "Oh no, yeah." I mean, like, more options. Keep your options open. <laughs> like, oh, there's no hope. <laughs> Dude, there's so much hope, man. This city is uh, full of hope, man. It's cuffing season. I know. You're going to cuff a bad bitch? 25 years I've never cuffed up. <laughs> <laughs> I've almost... got the keys and I'm unlocking them. <laughs> Dude, you are almost a quarter of a century old. What a... I almost said something gross about my underparts. Yeah, but you don't have to say anything about your underpots. I, I think we could keep the underpots under the pots. Under wraps. Keep them, yeah, keep them wrapped up in that little bikini. Uh, mm -hmm. But you are almost a quarter century old. And dude, kind of crazy. Remember in our dark, dark times, we couldn't even see ourselves getting past fucking 25. We couldn't even see ourselves getting past the next year. And I think, and I think I speak for both of us. It just keeps getting better. Yeah, dude. I mean, it was... um. Mine was just uh, pretty much just partying too much. And I like when all you have to look forward to in life is partying. Sad. Sad. Yeah. Sad, 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 sad. Um, you can still be the life of the party and uh, balance your career and, and relationships and all that jazz. It, it's wonderful to hear. Yeah. You're not just the one thing. And I think for a while we thought we were just the party girls, you know. Because we felt yeah. like we had to be because of our job and shit. But now we're like, I don't know. I feel like we both got our heads screwed on, right? Yeah, dude, I finally can say that with confidence. Yeah, it's sick. I've got it going on at this point point in time. <laughs> point in time. <laughs> no, but it's crazy, man. Growing up is cool. And I, we used to fear it so much. And I think getting older has been like the best thing ever. I used to be so... Dude, even when I was turning 24 this year, I'm like, oh. And it's been the yeah. best year fucking ever. Like, things just keep getting better. And as you get older so stupid but you really do get smarter and like wiser and like you understand the way that you are and it's just been yeah. really fucking cool to like look in the mirror finally and be like i know who i am what i'm saying what i feel what i mean rather mm -hmm. than i can't look in the mirror yeah i can't look at, my, at the mirror i can't stand my thoughts yeah and now you know i it's all good and the, it doesn't the mean time that... sorry go ahead sorry my lady um from like 20 to 24, I'd say it's just like so chaotic because you're an adult, but you don't know who you are. Yeah. And some people do, but a lot of people don't. 
And you're yeah. like, most of the time you're working a job where you're like, shit, I hate this. And I went, this is what I went to school for. And like, you're just like, oh God, is this life? And it's not. Your life's going to change drastically every so six much. months. Dude, so Every much. six months. Like, it's so crazy how unpredictable life is in like the most beautiful and scary way. Like so many things can happen in, in the blink of an eye. And that's why lately I've just been really taking like advantage of everything. And also, dude, we're, I've been so grateful. We have like the best fucking job in the world. Like we're so lucky. Yeah. And it's like crazy how fucking lucky we are. And I feel like we were so caught in it. We kind of like not took it for granted, but we didn't like understand how lucky we fucking were are. That's what I was saying last week. I was like, we've done so many cool things and uh, that, oh, sorry, I'm boasting, but have you been on stage with John Summit? Mm -hmm. But it, seriously, we've done so many cool things and we've seriously have in the past, like taken it all for granted for the most yeah. part. Like when we're doing we're cool stuff. Moving on to the next thing. Yeah. And I said, like, when we do these live show tours, like I really want to like in the moment appreciate it. it for what it is. Yeah, truly. Because it's insane, dude. Like if you were to tell little us in fucking fifth grade that me and you are going to go on a sold out podcast tour with your best friend. And like it, it have so many people look up to us and love us. It's just fucking, it's like, it doesn't, I think we have that like imposter syndrome though. And we always will where it's just like, it doesn't feel real. So it's hard to appreciate it. Cause it's like, I still can't grasp that it's real. And I feel, and that's exactly feel what like it is. everyone hates me. Like I'll be, we'll be on stage and we'll be like, oh, in our heads, like they don't fucking like us. <laughs> yeah. But I and think that, that's what keeps us <clears throat> likable. I don't know. If you told fifth grade us, that we sold out a live show podcast tour. Mm -hmm. What you just said. Yeah. I'd say, what's a podcast? <laughs> Dude, what do you mean by that? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so fucking crazy. Like we were talking. That sounds weekend. like it would be like, um, like we're trying to sell like a, a model airplane or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you even like saying? A I mean, still, it's like, what are we even doing? Like this weekend, everyone was like, oh, you're going on tour soon. Like, what do you do? I'm like, well, um, we're gonna go talk on stage for a couple hours. Yeah, it's it's um yeah, it it on paper it sounds ridiculous. I know, but, but it's, it's, it's a great time. Dude, it is, it's so fun, but it's honestly even like it's fucking cool, man, that we could pull a crowd just being us and doing that. Like we're not getting up there and I don't know, we don't have like a an act. It's just like yeah. us and people care to listen to us. It's just fucking cool, man. It's cool. Okay. It's wild. Okay. And I All right. can so. finally. Is that one of the cats? Sorry, I had a little bit of a uh, problem. Uh, we're back. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, but dude, it's just so fucking crazy to think of all, like, all the shit that's happening. And I feel like we're finally shit in I, yeah that's what i was gonna say i can, we can finally appreciate it and that's fucking sick and this is getting really sentimental and corny <laughs> I, well, I, I can't do so. the sentimental stuff for too long but that's what people want that's what people are mad about they're saying the podcast is surface level now so we don't get deep anymore oh i know no this is this so is deep. good shit i think it's important too i mean dude i used to fucking i used to fucking pour my heart out on this shit i know yeah those are well, so we'll, we'll, bring, we'll bring it on back bring it on fucking back but yeah dude i'm just super excited to i don't know see where this year goes it's just insane i feel like things just keep getting better in weird weird ways and getting older is cool and you're gonna be 25 and we're gonna be pottying our little booties off yeah in a respectful manner we're going on tour this fall for our live show tour with our friends at southern comfort and we're going from a rave to a kickback uh last tour I had some not so tasteful moments where I uh, forced Josh Richards to kiss me on stage. That was kind of weird of me to do. So this year we, we're trying to make it a little more tasteful. And uh, that's why we're bringing uh, Moog's to get what the fuck. <laughs> and that's, that's why we're even more excited for this year's tour because it's going to be a little more tasteful. We'll be sitting back and looking back on those not so tasteful moments and just, you know, laughing at them. So come along on our tour so you can laugh with us, grow with us, and of course, drink some SoCo Sours with us. Try the SoCo Sour. That's one part SoCo, two part sour mix. Let's get back to the show. Bro, I'm just, yeah, I'm fucking pumped. I'm super excited for this live show tour. And I, I keep wanting to be like, guys, come, but it's sold out. 
I know it's tough. I I wish I could like um like hand off tickets to people who are DMing me. I know, but it's like there's actually no standing room. Yeah, there's like cap. It's caps because we're, you know, we're humble. No cap. It's caps. Yeah, we're we're uh, capping. My I look pretty crazy today, huh? Look at my hat. No, you got big game. I got big game. I got this out of gas. Now, you know that's about shooting. I know. Animals. I don't shoot That's animals. That's gross. Though. I don't shoot animals. I'm not a hunter. I never will be. I got four cats and two dogs in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and the hillbilly's going to bring them down. Grace, the day what? after, it was so fucking crazy. We got Boston and, mm-hmm. and we're driving home from getting Boston. We find a fucking puppy on the side of the road and we're like, fuck we're gonna have this is too much but like we can't it's actually raining cats and dogs in oklahoma yeah and we're like we can't we can't and then we hear this guy yelling in the woods and we're like okay so we drive up the road a little and we're like hey we found a puppy and he goes dead or alive we were like (gasps) oh my goodness gracious we were like uh alive's in the back and then he goes oh well give me that puppy and then i have boston on my lap and he goes yeah that's one of mine too one of the lighter ones i'm like no, this is my puppy. No, Boston. sir. No, sir. And then he goes, yeah, these are my dogs. We look up the road. There's just like 30 fucking puppies up there. What's he doing with 30 dogs? I don't know. Where my dogs at? At that guy's farm. At that guy's farm. That guy's farm. It's got all the fucking dogs. And I was a little stressed out leaving that puppy with him, but the puppy seemed happy and all is well. Oklahoma's different, man. Different. It's different. It's, it's different, man. It's definitely different. Not my speed. Hey, not my monkey. Yeah. That's not true. my circus, not my clowns. What is it? What's the saying? Uh, <laughs> not I, my circus, not my monkeys. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, oh, also, um, speaking of where my dog's at, yeah. that's kind of like a thing now. Yeah. I don't know if, if people have been coming up to you at all saying, where my dog's at? And whether you are ready or not, you, you must rah, rah, rah. I know, bro. <laughs> Dude, I can't I'll be believe like, how viral that video went. <laughs> I know, it was crazy. It got reposted. When we posted it, it got like 2 million likes. And it got reposted on a bunch of other accounts. And every time it got reposted, it got millions of likes. <laughs> yeah, at least we were dressed to the nines. Uh, at least we looked so fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Both ages and beautiful. We look so beautiful. We trash bags, though. It's awesome. We're on the makeshift red carpet bash to a award show. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little baby purple thing. <laughs> Dude, it's so yeah. I know. I've been getting that a lot. Where my dogs at? Where my dogs at? Oh, also, totally slipped up these past couple of weeks. But um, if you are interested, tonight is the season finale of Most Dangerous Game Show that I've been on for the last couple of weeks. It's hilarious. <laughs> Forgot to talk about it on the podcast. It's okay. It's hilarious. You guys <laughs> should watch it. In the wait, tonight's the finale. Yeah, tonight. Oh, I'm gonna get some at eight o'clock and eat it and watch it. <sighs> yeah. Well, you'll be here. We oh, do a showing. True. Oh, oh, are you doing a live? We're thing talking about- in terms of uh, when the podcast comes out, but right now it's Monday and it comes out tomorrow. Are they doing but- like a finale it- at the office? <laughs> um, I don't think so. Not for this one. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to say let's have a party, but we got to wake yeah, up and go to Chicago. Oh, Chicago! I'm excited. I'm excited. Please. It'll be good. I'm I'm pumped. What are you wearing to the live show? Oh, I got this pretty little, oh, not, the, I decided against the naked jumper. Oh, thank God. I didn't think you were actually going to do that. No, I was never. I thought for I Halloween, got, I, maybe. I got this green, uh, this green jumper. Nice. I got a jumper too. Oh, we're going to be jump stars. I love us. <laughs> I'm so excited. You want to do, oh. you want to do the headlines? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Cause some of them are kind of fucking nuts though. All right, so this is crazy shit in the news. We got first one. Coast Guard arrests a man trying to run a giant hamster wheel across the Atlantic Ocean. It was the fourth time the Coast Guard intercepted this man trying to self-propel his homemade hamster wheel across the ocean. This guy's got grit. Why are they stopping him? Let's see it. I can't even imagine what I'm going to look at. That's some crazy shit in the news. (laughs) That is some crazy shit in the news, (laughs) G-Money. This guy's epic already. That's what I'm saying he's got taste grit. it. He's got a heart. What? Who is it? Like, is it like Peta doesn't want him to do? This? <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, wait is he is he gonna be in it? Yes, Grace. Why won't they let him live? 
dude, this is innovation at its finest. Why wouldn't you let a man who has worked so hard to clearly build this insane invention, why wouldn't you let him do it? And he wants to go across the Atlantic? Well, of course he's going to die if he does it. He's so going to die. saving his life. If it starts sinking, he's done for. There's no escape route. At this point, if he's going to keep going, they should just follow, follow him while he does it. Yeah, like let's let's get behind him instead of trying to sink him. Dude, you know? Yeah, I think he has so much heart that maybe he wouldn't even die. Maybe he he knows he's gonna make it. We got a name on this guy. Let's put some respect on his name. This feels more safe to me than a fucking sailboat. When people sail across the ocean, I'm like, you guys are gonna die. Reza. His name's Dude, Reza. My boy Reza is a, the dog. He got that dog in him. Roof roof. All right, so next guy's a legend, and they should let him. Let's go human his hamster wheel. <laughs> so fucking sick. What is this? Sheep wanders into greenhouse, eats six hundred pounds of marijuana plants. Unsure if they're like a... safe or alive. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty fucking high. <laughs> dude, I love how it just says unsure if they're safe or alive. Oh, dude, you know what's funny is when I tucked my mom in for bed, yeah. and I and I left her alone. I had a few joints like next to my bed. She goes the next morning. She goes, I think I tried to smoke a joint last night and said, what am I doing? And I just went right to bed. <laughs> dude, your mom is a shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, she is the shit. <laughs> oh, dude, you cannot be doing that. 600 pounds of marijuana. Oh, my God. I mean, Jesus, I can't even take a hit oh. of weed anymore. They're European. So. Oh, so they're fine. They're bred. They're going to be drugs. fine. That's yeah, insane. They're- so they're I'm, straight up fine. I'm sure that they're absolutely 100% fine. There's a farting dog on a Singapore airline flight that gets passengers. <laughs> $1,400 refund? Dog farted on us for 14 hours? Dude, all of them? Like, what was he bouncing around? What is The this TMZ graphic? picture for this is ridiculous. <laughs> that is Tim Robinson? <laughs> this is a sketch. This is not real. Okay, wait, what's this? Uh, Jill and Warren Press say that ended up seated next to a dog and its owner during the 13-hour trek back in June. It's a cute enough dog to look at, but the presses say the pooch bombed on them for the whole flight, partying so badly, they eventually surrendered their premium seats and moved back to economy. All right. The couple says the gas was only half the battle because they also had to contend with the pup, which looked like a bulldog mix loudly snorting. They were determined to get some for their troubles, told the insider that they went through several months of negotiations with Singapore Airlines getting a $1,400 refund. All right. Honestly, bro, it couldn't have been that bad. I mean, that definitely stinks, quite literally, but... I don't uh, know. Honestly, if they had to move their <laughs> seats, this must have been bad smelling, man. Ah, uh, yeah. That I mean, you you got to control your service dog's fats. I don't even think it's. I think that's just his guy. Dude, you can't have a dog on there unless it's a service dog. I know that for a fact. I tried to bring a pigeon on one time, and they said you got to have a leash on that thing. Oh, and you said, "Well, fuck you," and bit its head off. <laughs> it was delicious. Um, I think. I think I resonate with this dog, though, because whenever I'm on a plane, I get really gassy. Yeah, yeah. The bubble bubble guts go. It's just nuts. And we've said before, we're disgusting. But sometimes we'll just let it rip because everyone has their headphones on anyways. And it could be anyone fun. You could fart so loud on a plane. Oh, no one's gonna my hear. God. What? Warren and whatever his wife's name is. I, I only saw the first part. They were the ones fucking farting. And they're oh. blaming it on the dog. It's always it's so cliche. Blame it on the dog. Always blame it on the dog. Hey, you smelt it, you dealt it. And now Delta has to pay. <laughs> what a fucking nightmare. What is Dave talking about, man? What? <laughs> he posted one of our cars that we love and wrote, there is no way this car is serious. It's like they are in Greece. What? <laughs> Dude, does he not understand how sick convertibles are? Dude, I love this note on the sheet. Sorry, we know you don't care, but Taylor Swift's in Travis Kelsey's suite. The internet blew up and the Swifties had a lot to say. My favorite tweet from this whole excursion is that that picture on the left of Taylor Swift in the suite. Mm -hmm. Big Cat tweeted, did you guys know that Taylor Swift has chicken fingers with ketchup and ranch? (laughs) Dude, I I can't believe it. I can't believe like everything she does. Did they 
post like this the headline of the thing is someone posted taylor swift was eating a piece of chicken with ketchup and seemingly ranch exclamation point and that's being a serious tweet oh my god that dude that's literally what i just said but um yeah but big that cat was tweeted like it headline. as a joke this is real no wow i saw a big cat's thing too and he's like Do you swifties always react to taylor swift doing the most normal things in such a crazy way i will say i was watching the games yesterday at, at the bar yeah. and I they pan to Taylor Swift in the box in the in the suite, and I I go oh my god was that Taylor Swift is she really in Travis Kelsey's box? And He's my next sentence box. was I should not have said that. That's good though. That's good. It's too easy. It's a layup. And the next thing I said was oh my god, this is gonna be a week full of headlines. Oh my god, dude! I know it's all I'm seeing, but I kind of like them together. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Right. I think it's like the most un like uh, suspected pairings usually work the best. Like her and Matt Healy. Fuck that, bro. Yeah, no, that fuck I mean, that. They, nah, I just can't with them, too. And also, like, he says such outlandish shit and she is so like sweetheart, like sweet America. Sweet, she is America's sweetheart. She is. Dude, she's she just keeps getting prettier. I know. She All looks like the most gorgeous of her. Ever. She looks like a a, a porcelain doll angel and oh my god their their theme song because it's the chiefs but loving you is rare (laughs) dude i think they i think this couple fucks man i'm in i'm in i'm in and dave that car's sick so let it slide yeah i don't know what you're saying davy but that's cool that's a cool fucking (laughs) dude me and grace literally have a whole thing every time we see a car like this we text it to each other oh my god you're right about that. And also, I didn't realize that that's them two driving off. Yes, into the sunset. I didn't realize. And when you said Greece, I thought you meant the country, but they look like Greece, the movie. And now, now I understand, Dave. It's, I, dude, I truly didn't understand what was going on with that. <laughs> I was very confused. Wait, what? Uh, we, people people are freaking out about his outfit. What's he got going on? I think it was kind of fly, man. I thought he looked kind of fly. People are saying that this video of them walking, it looks like um, that they were like too nervous in middle school, like want to hold each other's hands, but they're too awkward to make a move. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> they seem I like- think. He wanted her so bad, and now he doesn't know what to do with her. (laughs) Yeah, he's like, I can't believe this is actually happening. I don't know what to do. (laughs) And her face is saying, I can't believe this is happening. I don't know what to do. (laughs) I think, I hope they get through this, man. But they're riding off into the sunset, so hopefully it's working out. I know. (laughs) The fact that they got the car picture of them in Greece. We got to edit. We got to p- edit a picture of them in Greece. Yeah, like like the country. <laughs> oh. oh, shit, dude. That's cracking me up. I don't know why. I'm all in. Taylor Swift rocks, dude. Yeah, no, I fuck, I fuck with this. Like, she seems super chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, honestly, the whole Travis Kelsey thing. I don't know why. Like, I'm I'm in. I'm back in. Like, it's all that. To, it, it's it took all that for me. <laughs> For me to be back in on team because she's just so like <laughs> chill about it she's like dude fuck it i'm done yeah i'm loving the energy from this like if she wouldn't be like mm-hmm, what she would never be like i just i i couldn't stand for it but right now like i'm a big fan of this couple like i don't know why <laughs> dude knuckle me that's sick me too that's, let's fucking go <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking go what's their couple name uh tay talcy no that's bad um, what's his name travis kelsey Oh, it's trailer. Trailer is the name. <laughs> That's sick. That is sick. I just I just brain farted over here trying to think of a name for that. Dude, and you dude, came up with trailer off dude. the top of your dome piece? Dude, okay, so let's run with knuckles. that. Let's run with that. Knuckles, let's go. Trailer for life. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm I'm the, right. I'm back. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> All right. This is what Michael, Michael Jackson? Jackson? Performing at the local carnival. It's Michael Jackson. All 
right. I have nothing to say. I think he slayed the day down. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no notes. <laughs> Austin, why'd you put that on the fucking sheet? <laughs> uh, uh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we probably got something to say about it. this one. No way. That's actually kind of awesome. Is it? No, it's dirty. That's disgusting. Yeah, people can see a vagina. I mean, I would obviously use it. Wait, hold on. What's that clip? What's that clip of freaking Rocky Rocco? Fucking <laughs> Rocco. What is Rico his name? Bosco. Rico. Rico. There was a clip in the middle of is, is Zach Bryan overrated? Why is he speaking on this? Zach Bryan <laughs> is the most grossly overrated country artist in America. <laughs> I don't know enough country artists. I do know this. I. You know what? I like Brianna a lot. If this guy makes her happy, I think. Stop judging what other people are doing. That, that's where I'm at. Yes! Hey, the biggest guy's just hopping on the bandwagon because it's trendy to hate Zach Bryan right that's now. That's the thing. Like, listen, I said it to the go. You could pull the clip. I was on this? I was on Plan Bree. I said, do whatever makes you happy. If he treats you right, there's bigger problems in the world. Guy could be doing much worse things. If he treats you right, you make him happy, leave her alone. Healthy debate. Yeah. He's like hating on Dion right now. People want to make oh, him. He's, he's, he's popular. He's popping in the streets. I, he's, he's, I don't even like country music, but I love Zach Bryan. Zach even Bryan though, also makes country music that's like reminiscent. Not saying he's Johnny Cash, but he's reminiscent of that storytelling. That's that called jet ski. Pop country. Yes. Yeah. Has poems yes, in the interludes of his yes. songs. Like, yes. Yes. Wasn't he a military? <laughs> didn't he? He was in the military. Yes. Yeah, he yes. popped off while he was overseas in the Navy. For the the cop video, like to him to really be an asshole. What would I have said? Take me to jail? Probably not. But ah, the entire time, no what he said. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> then he lost his patience a little bit, which anyone is human to do. We're going to yeah. judge a guy because he's on camera and he's a celebrity. That's not fair. Let's the whole go. time. Yes, sir. No, sir. Thank vintage you. Vintage microphone. Like, what are we doing here? Healthy debate. We <laughs> have one day energy today. We have an it's, unhealthy yeah, debate coming. Yep. Yep. Crazy. Let's fucking go, Crazy. boys. These are the first three. <sighs> All right, I'm glad we had, we saw a little action. Rico, Rico. I don't know why I was calling him Rocco. My brain's not really working. <laughs> I thought he had some shit to say, so I was I was uh gonna be upset and I wasn't gonna use his real name. He's a great guy, so is Jet Ski, so is Dukes. I'm all in on those guys. Yeah, Bless thanks, you. thanks guys. That was a hilarious, like random clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on? No. Oh, is this fucking fuck you guys? That's, uh, yeah. All right, we're going to end on that. Oh I'm going to fuck it. No. Oh, come on. Dude, like, I don't, I come here to forget about that. Do you still, you haven't seen no roaches, though, Grace. Look okay, at, I got all fucking mad. Oh, guys, cut Like, like that out. water bottle at John Summit. Stop it. Enough. Cut it out, Please. Guys. I'm asking politely. Cut we need to out. cut that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very upset. How was having a great day. So you're done with the roaches, though, in your place, right? I'm done with this podcast. You do, You got a couch. I'm going to say that every week. <laughs> you, got, you got a couch, Grace. Yeah, it hasn't came yet, though. Oh, you think it's going to come up? Oh. You think it's going to show up? I get scammed a lot. We know this. <sighs> All right. Well, I hope you get your couch, and uh, I can't wait to give you a hug tomorrow. Oh, uh, dude, I can't wait. I'll be. What kind of muffins do you want at your door? Uh, well, you only have blueberries, so I'll take them. Okay, yeah. I got to get rid of them. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, just bring them all. I'll eat them all. We got a lot of cats and dogs to feed. Oh my God! I we can't do. afford all the food, so we're gonna have to feed. I them know. Both. Like, seriously, how do you? Uh, they're simply, all getting corn meal. <laughs> I simply need a raise to pay for my dog's food. Those are your kids. I mean, they're basically, children, they're gonna eat before I do. Cause what? All my all dogs, my dogs eat. eat. Yeah. All right. So okay. you're my best friend. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Check out my reality show. I'm a superstar. <laughs> Please tonight, check out a eight o'clock Eastern show. time. She's a superstar, so please check it out. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, and I will see you soon, Buttercup. All right, sweet tits. I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, bye, bye, bye guys.